let's simulate these games. So the freebooters and the blowfish, the uh, freebooters are going to get the win there. The wide loads and the moon stars, moon stars are going to get the win there. And with the sirloins and the grapplers, the sirloins are going to get the win there. So with all these plays going around around the league, um, you know, the B Wolves looking at their competition. They can't look at their competition right now. They gotta look at themselves first. They gotta look themselves in the mirror, and they gotta think to themselves, "What can I do now to help surmount this comeback?" We're playing from behind. We're down 1-0 in the series. Best out of three. If the Herbazores win this game, I mean it's over. This is over for the Beowulfs if they lose this game. Uh, this is a very do or die moment for them. If they cannot win. That might be it, folks. The series here, I don't know what we're going to do next week. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. We might not be able to do anything. Well, you know what? No, no, no. We'll do something. I don't know what it is, but we'll do something next week. Super Mega Baseball Studios will always have entertainment for, for you. What it will be? No clue. But uh, it will be there, nevertheless. Let's see. Hurley Bender's the pitcher. Thank God we actually have a starting pitcher to start out the game. Folks. She's rattled. I mean, she's just getting in her own head. And luckily, we literally do not have another first baseman who can, who can substitute for Ruby Green. So what you're going to do... God, I don't even know what you're going to do, to be honest. I think you put in Benny Balmer. No, you don't even put in Benny Balmer. You know what? Keep Ruby Green in. Keep Ruby Green in. And just <laughs> hope she can muster something up. That's, 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 that's all I have right now. Um, Hurley Bender's going to be the pitcher. Hurley Bender last time led the uh, the Beowulfs to a win. Um, Lidding up zero runs. Has zero ERA so far in this tournament. The Beowulfs risk elimination. You see it there, folks. Herbazores lead 1-0. Beowulfs risking elimination at this game. If they do not win, well, that's over. This is all over. And we'll have to see what we what we come up for next week. Come up with for next week. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> he's, uh, he's flustered, honestly. He's scared. I think we all are. Anyways, let's get uh, started here as early Bender will be pitching. Early Bender's locked in right now. I mean, he's had a very good, successful couple of games, so I think he'll work his magic here for this Beowulf's team and be able to showcase an expertise display of pitching. Um, last time we saw him pitch, did a very good job, Hurley Bender. I, uh, I would argue to say that he's one of the best pitchers in this league. That's right, in this league. Right there. Ground out on the first first play of the game. Good start, good start. As Dolph Steak takes the plate. Fooled him there. Can hit a foul ball. You love to see a, a situation where he's fooling him that early. That's good. That is good. He's going to throw a curveball and it's going to be a pop fly. Will the second baseman get under it? She will. Out number two. Good showing here. And you can see already what what difference it makes having an actual legitimate starting pitcher start the game for you. We saw last, last game, the B-Wolves, for some reason, started the game with a relief pitcher. Relief pitchers cannot start the game. I mean, they can, but it's very highly unadvisable because, well, there used to be meant to give relief to the starting pitchers who are supposed to start the game. Anyways, let's not get angry. Let's not get angry. Let's not get tilted right now. The B-Wolves, they have a very, very important task in front of them. And that is to catch this out. Oh, which they do. To put this game away. Oh, God, I'm just so drained from the last game. It was just so hard to watch. I mean, it was absolutely terrible. 
Absolutely terrible. As Dexterous walks up to bat. Oh, a line drive. Dexterous got some heat behind this swing. Well, that one wasn't a hit. Those swings look promising. As Gina Torrance takes, takes the batter's box. Strike one in the top right corner. Strike two in the left-hand side of the batter's box. That one's going to be a pop fly to the outfield. The center fielder is going to get to it just in time. I mean, you know, that's not terrible. Not a terrible at-bat. Not great, but not terrible, you know. And uh, the B-Wolves here have to make sure that they're swinging at the right stuff. Oh, that one's going to go right past the pitcher. Bertha Banks is going to get on base. Look at that. One one hit in the, the, the bottom of the first. This could be a good sign. This could be a good sign for this B-Wolves team as Buster Biggs is up to bat. Could this be a, a, a sign that the ties are starting to, to turn? Is that one's going to be fouled? Let's see. Oh, can they get to it in time? Oh, they do. They get Bertha Banks out at second. That's all right, you know. Early Bender's going to be back up to pitch. And uh, I, I trust Early Bender. I really do. I think the Beowulfs are in good hands here. I think we don't have anything to worry about. As that one is going to be a pop fly, which should be a pop fly to the left fielder, and it is. And uh, Juan Rojas is up the bat. Beautiful, beautiful pitch there. Beautiful slider by Early Bender. Beautiful fastball, 92 miles an hour. He's gonna get him. He's gonna try to get him with a curveball, and that one's gonna be a grounded to the first baseman who's gonna run it for an out. We got two outs, ladies and gentlemen. This is instantly. You can see the difference between this game and the last. I mean. Having this starting pitcher, Early Bender, Early Bender, I mean, he's, he's, he's changing. He's changing the game for us. He is changing the game for us. The tides are turning. The, the, the switches are, are switching. I mean, it, it's it's a pleasure to see Early Bender at work. And Billy LeBoink is up to bat. Billy LeBoink, the old veteran, uh, coming up on his last season as a B-Wolves. That's right. Well, possibly. We'll see. Billy LeBoink might not be back next season. He's getting up there in age, and, you know, he's thinking after this season it might be time to hang up the cleats, hang up his bat, and maybe join the commentary booth. We'll see. Ruby Green will be up to bat. Ruby Green is rattled, as you can see. She has not been doing very good. <laughs> um, although, ooh, that one's going to... Be cough right now. Ruby Green was the person who scored those three RBIs in the very first game. You would think that after that she knows that she has clutch ability. But maybe she hasn't seen the re uh, emergence of it since. And she's thinking, why? Why haven't I been able to do it again? Well, that's just speculation, but could be a very real thought in Ruby Green's very real head. As they are going to, ooh, luckily not get the double play there. Monster is going to make it to first base. Unfortunately, Billy LeBoink gets out at second. And now we have Magic Moore of the bat with two outs in the bottom of the second. Magic Moore's got to work some magic. I mean, we say it every time, but he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. Um, that's going to be out number three. And we go to the top of the third. Luckily, I'll say it again. The B-Wolves are in a much better position with Harley Bender as their pitcher. I mean, you can see it. As the shortstop's going to get to the ball and play that one. Ground it. Ground out. Beautiful. Harley Bender here. Ooh, perfect. Perfect, perfect 96 mile an hour fastball. Oh my god. You, I mean, the heat behind that one was scathing as he fools the batter. Ooh, ball number one. Fortunately, just couldn't continue with that dominant performance. Ooh, the curve ball, though, is going to fool the batter out. Number two, strike out for Hurley Bender. I mean, that's just absolutely beautiful right there, ladies and gentlemen. If, if Hurley Bender keeps pitching like this, 
the, the Herbazores might not be able to surmount any kind of offense. And that's exactly what the Beowulfs need. The Beowulfs can't let the Herbazores... Beautiful strikeout. Can't let the Herbazores do anything in Hurley Bender. He, he does exactly that. He does not allow the Hurley Benders. Or the... <laughs> the Herbazores. The Hurley Benders would be a great team, though. I'm just saying. If we had a team made up of only Hurley Benders, oh, God. Unstoppable they would be. Oh, the pitcher misfeels that one. But she just gets to it in time. You see, I think he hit her in the head with that one, actually. I think he hit her in the head as Hanley Dixturis is up to bat. Oh, ball one. Almost swung at that one. Hanley Dixturis has some power behind his swings. Let me tell you that right now. That one is a very showcase of what I mean. Wow, that one's a beautiful, beautiful swing. Hanley Dixturis is going to... Get all the way to third on a triple in what could have been a home run, but he'll settle for a triple here. That was an absolutely beautiful play by Dexteros. I mean, jeez. Textbook hit right there and run. <laughs> hit run. Dexteros is going to... Dexteros is going to make it to home. We got an out at first, but it doesn't matter because Dexteros makes it home. We have the B-Wolves finally mounting some offense here in this tournament, in this, this week at least. Beowulf's up 1-0 to zero as they continue this inning with Bertha Banks up to bat. That RBI by Gina Torrens will surely help her uh, momentum, help her mojo, I should say. Ooh, as Bertha Banks hits it through the gap, but the shortstop gets to it, and she doesn't get to first base in time. Shortstop throws it just in time to get Bertha Banks out, and we're going to the bottom of the fourth. Luckily, the Beowulf's up 1-0. They, they, they have the the opportunity here to continue this, I mean, iron sheet defense that they've been displaying with Hurley Bender. I believe they, if I'm not mistaken, have yet to surrender a single hit to this team. And they'll continue to do so. Hurley Bender is... Kind of feel good about how this one's going so far. As he, uh... Ooh, fools the batter there on that one. And... Ball number one. Two strikes. Two outs. Ball one. Can early bender put this inning away quick? That one's going to be fouled to the left. Let's see here. He's going to throw a curveball, which is going to be pop... Popped up. And the second baseman gets to it. Out number three. Look at that. We have a no-hitter through four innings with Harley Bender as the pitcher. I mean, if we were to witness a no-hitter here, surely that would be one of the most spectacular things we'll ever see in the tournament. I'm just saying. Just saying. If we witness a no-hitter here today. That one's going to be fair. First baseman's going to get to it by a diving catch. And it's going to be out number one for the inning. Billy the boink up to bat. Billy the Blink, the veteran. I don't know if you heard this. <laughs> he's a veteran. He's old. Oh, is he going to get to the... Ah, he's not going to get to the first base. His Ruby Green is up to bat. And Ruby Green, I mean, just look at her. She's rattled. She's shaking in her boots. You can see it. She can't, I mean... Can't surmount any offense in this tournament. Besides that one amazing hit she had in the first game. Besides that, it hasn't been pretty for Ruby, you know. But I will bring it back to the, the bottom of the fifth. Where Hurley Bender will try to continue his clinic. Oh, God, he does in spectacular fashion right there with that amazing, amazing slider. Speaking of which, uh, Buddy Robinson could go for some sliders himself. A little, a little hungry, just a little bit. Slider sounds pretty good right about now. Anyways, Juan Rojas is going to be up to bat. That's ball number one. Comes in hot. And strike number one, 80 miles an hour curveball. Caught Rojas swinging. Fooled him on the second pitch. Can he continue this, this streak here? Ooh, striked him out again. I think that's the second time Rosa, Rojas has been striked out this game. 
Shortstop's going to be up the bat. I don't know if you heard the announcer there in the background. Ball number one. Beautiful pitch, though. Beautiful pitch. Foul ball. We got two strikes, one ball. And another foul ball. As Hurley Bender looks to put this inning away, that one's going to be popped up. The shortstop's going to get underneath it. Can they field it? Can they catch it? They do out number three. And we still have a no-hitter here through the fifth inning. Looking pretty good for Hurley Bender, I'll say that right now. As Steve Monster's up to bat. Oh, and that one, the third baseman. Honestly, that was just a really good catch by him. If he didn't catch that one, uh, that would have been an easy double there for Steve Monster. But he did, so. Oh, and that one's just going to be popped out. Hopefully it's foul, though. And it's not. The catcher gets out number two. Wow. Hurley Bender off the bat. I mean, he's on fire. Look at his. He is absolutely. His mojo is. You cannot. You cannot hurt him. <laughs> he is unstoppable right now. Look at the power behind that swing for a pitcher. Jeez, Hurley Bender is out for blood right now, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that one's going to, to be honest with you, that one's just going to be a ground out. But still, Hurley Bender is out for blood. Oh, He's on fire. Let's see if he can continue with this amazing, ama amazing, uh, amazing pitching performance he's put on in the first inning. Uh-oh. Oh, luckily the center fielder gets there. Ooh. Oh, God, luckily we keep that, we keep that no-hitter alive. Uh-oh. Oh, out number two. Okay, I, I'm just going to say it right now. The B-Wolves defense is really coming in clutch to help Harley Bender <laughs> secure this no-hitter. Because both of those plays very well could have been hits. And if they both were hits, they, uh, well, we would have had two runners on base right now. And that would have been not great for the B-Wolves uh, mojo, which is currently, you know, skyrocketing with them. You know, being as successful as they have been in this game so far. Dexterous is going to be up to bat. Dexterous with the heat behind his swing. I mean, geez. As hopefully we'll see here how hard he's been hitting. Well, it's going to be ball two. If Dexterous gets hits again in this tournament, oh, I'm going to be furious. I am going to be furious. Dexterous has been targeted by the buzzards, as we saw last week. Targeting of him this week will surely show that there are some comeuppance, or there is some <laughs> rigging going on between these other teams, and they will get their comeuppance. Ooh. Great hit there by Gina Torrance. We got a runner on first, we got a runner on second. This has so far been a much different game than than we saw last game. Uh, the, the, but, or the, the buzzards, what am I thinking? The B-Wolves. The B-Wolves are managing to surmount some offense. There's some pressure on this Absorbs team. That one's going to be a double play. But she advances Dexterous to third base. And if Buster Biggs can get a successful hit here, he'll send Dexterous home. Let's see if he can do it, ladies and gentlemen. This could be big for the Beatles. Pressure is high. And the center fielder is going to get to that one. This is going to end the inning. Put the inning away, and we're going to go to seventh inning. Not a bad outing by the B-Wolves last inning, but, um, you know, they got two hits there with no outs. You really, you really wish they would have capitalized on that. And, uh, you know, uh, added some, some tallies to the scoreboard there, if you know what I'm saying. Strike number two. Hurley Bender, though, still, I mean, still doing an absolutely amazing job on... The other side of the ball. It's just phenomenal to watch him go. Really, it is. As they get a ground out to start this inning. Oh, that one's going to be fouled out. Oh, oh God. I think he just, I think he just hit a fan in the, hit a fan in the face there. Oh, strike number two. And this is going to be strike number three. Strikeout. Harley Bender just doing a 
amazing job. I'll say it a million times. I mean, come on. When when you see a performance like this happening live in front of you, it's spectacular. Is what it is. As Hurley Bender continues to have no hits, seven innings into this game. Wow, that is unheard of. Unheard of. As Billy the Blink is, is up to bat, he's got to be, you know, you see the pitcher doing such a good job. Your job as an offense is to help him out. Give him some, give him some leeway. Give him some room to work with. You know, what I, so if, for instance, the Bee Wolves add some more runs, they make it harder and harder for the Urban Swords to come back. We're still at a one-run game, ladies and gentlemen. We are still at a one-run game. The Urban Swords can come back with really just one swing, one swing, home run, and they tie the game. The Bee Wolves have to. Not let that happen. Should have really swung at that one. Oh, he's gonna swing at that one, and oh, the right fielder's gonna get to it just in time. But yeah, the Bulls gotta put some pressure. I mean, they got the Herbazors in a bad spot, and they gotta make them feel it. As Ruby Green's up to bat, and she's gonna ground that one out. Ruby Green's feeling real bad right about now. I'll tell you that. I mean, she's just oh god, can cannot get a break. Ooh, strike number one. Ooh, that's going to be a great hit by Steve Monster. Going to allow him to get on the first pace. And Magic Moore will be up to bat, hoping to work his magic. I'll say it, I'll say it every time he comes up to play. I'm sorry. You got a name like that, you got to use it. Ball number one on the outside. Ball number two on the outside. Oh, this is... The pressure is high. I think this pitcher might be psyching herself out. Oh, that one's going to be mishandled. But she gets to it just in time. And we're going to be at the top of the eighth. But before we get to the top of the eighth, here at Super Mega... Wait, let me... Let me there it is. Here at Super Mega Baseball Productions, we like to put on a good show for our audience, which is why... This week, we've got a, a, a great little fun little event here laid off for you guys. Let me just uh, see if we have the the, the, the the people in place. And, uh, yep, okay, here we go. We will bring you down to the, the field as we have our first ever Home Depot <laughs> sponsored tool race. Let's, let's go down and s see what kind of shenanigans they're getting up to. Oh, look at this. The Beowulf Stadium. Nobody else's. Definitely the Beowulf Stadium. You got all the tools coming out. You got the paintbrush. You got the you got the hammer. You got the bucket. You got the drill. Look at all look at all these youngins up here. They love it. They're having a great time. Ooh, the bucket doing the Superman pull. Superman shirt pull. And here's the drill. Drill looking a little bit sad today. I hope he's uh Oh, there he goes. He's dancing. Okay. All right. Joe's looking better now. They're going to race down. Race down the, the, the track here and see who can... Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. The, the tools are just taking it all out on the drill. And they're off. Jeez. I, that is un, uncalled for. As the drills and... Uh, the, the hammer's in first. Paintbrush second. Paint bucket third. And drill is... Well, he's... Oh, what is this, though? Oh, we have a member of the... The Big Wolves team, the Big Wolves bullpen, he, oh, he's taking out the competition. And the drill, the drill, the drill is going to win. The drill is going to win the race. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. That is, that's what we need to say. You know, in, every, in light of every, everything that's been going on lately, we see the, uh, we see the Big Wolves member there. Help that, help that drill who is really giving it. Delta unfair hands. Help them get back on top. It's it's those kind of things that really let you know what kind of what kind of team the Beowulfs are. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Whoops. Let's get back to the the game here. If I can get back to the amp, there we go. Let me just make sure that the uh, here at, at B Wolves are oh my time B Wolves at Super Mega Baseball Productions. We like to make sure everything is tip top and in working order. Early Bender looks to com 
continue this no-hitter. Which, again, I want to stress how very rare it is to see one of these. You don't see these every day. You don't even see them every other day. That one's going to be grounded to the shortstop, who's going to field it for an out. I mean, just continuing this momentum is beautiful. Continuing this amazing display, this pitching ability, strike number one. Still throwing 95 mile an hour fastballs in the in the eighth inning. I mean, that's I mean, it's beautiful. Ooh, strike out. I think that was Juan Rojas, maybe. Juan Rojas can not catch a break. As early Bender looks to continue to put on this clinic. Oh, that one's going to be popped up. Bender's going to get under that one. Can he catch it? He does. Out number three. End of the inning. The Oles are back up to bat, baby. Early Bender up to bat. He is jacked right now. Look at this mojo. He is feeling himself. Early Bender is ready to carry the team on his back. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> we can't get them all. But uh, early Bender is walking with a little stride in his step, as you can see. And Dexterous is going to be up to bat. Ooh, probably should have swung at that one, but, you know, whatever. 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 Dexterous has got plenty more to swing at. Strike number two. Oh, I don't know what the umpire was looking at there. Ooh, but I know... I know there Dexterous is looking... Swinging for the fences. He's going to get a hit on base. Dexterous has really been coming into his own in, in this game. I mean, last series, we didn't see him do much. But this series, he's been... I mean, putting on pressure for sure. Ooh, this is going to be a... Ah, uh, double play. It's going to end the inning. And we're going to go to the top of the ninth. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a huge showing for Hurley Bender. If Hurley Bender can strike out this batter... Uh, strike, out, <laughs> strike out the next three batters or just get them out without surrendering a hit... Not only do the B-Wolves win, Hurley Bender throws a no-hitter, which is, a, you only see, like, maybe one of those every year. I, it's very rare to see a no-hitter. So we're going to see here, we're going to see if Hurley Bender can close this game out from, from the very first inning to the very last without surrendering a single hit. Man, let's see. Let's see if he can do it. First one's going to be fooled. Second pitch is going to be strike. And the third pitch is... That one's going to be fouled. Bender, you can... You can really tell he wants this one, ladies and gentlemen. Give me ball number one. This is going to be... Oh, fair... But the first baseman is going to get to it. The first baseman is going to get to it. Out number one. Out number one. In the very last inning. All it takes is one, though, ladies and gentlemen. All it takes is one swing to tie this game up. Strike number two for Hurley Bender. Can he, can he strike out this batter? Ooh, that one. I don't know about that one. That one should have been the strike, I think. Oh, but he's going to strike out the batter anyways. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful pitching display by Hurley Bender so far. But here we have at the bat. At, at the batter's box. The very last out Hurley Bender needs to have a no-hitter. Something every pitcher in baseball dreams of. A no-hitter would be an amazing feat. This could be it. Second baseman is going to try to get under it. Out number three. Hurley Bender does it. An amazing pitching display. Carries the team on his back. The B-Wolves win it. Ladies and gentlemen, not only do the B-Wolves win it, Hurley Bender with a no-hitter. Look at that. Thurbazors, how, how, how different of a game this was. You could not have a greater difference between the first game and the second game of the series. I mean, it was absolutely, uh, uh, I mean, bashed by the Herbazors, the B-Wolves were. They were bashed by the Herbazores in the very first game, sur er, surrendering 12 hits and 5 runs to them. This game, 
how the story was very different. The Herbazors don't even get a single hit, no offense at all throughout the whole game. The Beowulfs only need one win or one pitch or one run. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> buddy. So I need to take a little sip of my Coca-Cola here. Mmm, Coca-Cola, refreshing. But anyways, I, I mean Hurley Bender, MVP of this series so far. Let's take a look. Nine innings pitched, six strikeouts, zero hits surrendered, zero runs surrendered. Beautiful. Beautiful game by Hurley Bender there. And we'll advance here to the last game of the series. 